I'm going to give you a couple of quick tips for creating your first photo slideshow in iMovie 09. Now this will be first of a multi-part series where we talk about some of the specifics of each step, but we're just going to create the simplest form of one today. The first step, of course, is to open iMovie, which we've done here, and we're going to click on the small plus button on the lower right of the project library to create a new project. We're going to name this Cross Country because we're going to be showing some images from a recent cross country shoot. And we've got a couple of options for the aspect ratio. I'm going to stick with the standard widescreen for now, but you could choose for different, uh, different options here. And I'm going to go without a theme for right now. We're going to discuss themes in a future uh, video tutorial here. And I'm going to automatically add a cross dissolve. We have a couple of options for different transitions here, but I like the basic cross dissolve. We're going to hit Create. And it's created a blank canvas here in our project uh, project viewer with which we can drag photos to. Now much like all of the applications within the iLife and iWork suite, we are able to preview images from our iPhoto and Aperture libraries without actually having to open those standalone programs. So we can go down here to the Photos tab and as you can see we have images from our Aperture library appearing here. And we can scroll down to the project we had in mind, which was a recent cross-country race. And I can select a group of images and click and drag those to the project pane. It's going to add these stills to the project. As soon as that's done, what we'll do is we can already start previewing the images as we mouse over. Now you'll see what it's done is it's automatically added the Ken Burns effect, which is a resizing and panning that was popularized by the documentary filmmaker Ken Burns. Now, I don't particularly like that for my photos. I find myself pretty careful in cropping them exactly how I want them to appear. So I like them to, uh, I like iMovie to include the entire image uh, in the viewer and, and hold it there. So I'm going to go ahead and select one of them and then hit Command A to remove all of that content. I'm going to go back to the file menu and I'm going to go to project properties and what this allows me to do is it looks similar to that first option we were given but under timing it gives you a number of different options on the initial photo placement. The transition duration of 0.5 seconds is fine and the photo duration of 4 seconds each is also fine but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the initial photo placement here uh, fit to frame. That means it's going to fit the entire image uh, as it's been cropped in Aperture or iPhoto within the iMovie frame. I'm going to hit OK and now when I come back down to my Photos tab I can select all my images and I'm going to shift click on the last image to select everything and I'm going to just click and drag and release the 24 images in my project viewer here. It's going to bring all the images back in and now when I'm ready to preview this you can see that all of the images are appearing in their entirety uh, without any motion or cropping applied to them. So I can pause that and the last thing I might do is just come in and add some music to this. So I'm going to come in under the music tab and you can see I have access to all of the iLife sound effects, anything I've created in GarageBand, but also my iTunes library. I can scroll down to a playlist in my iTunes library where I've already pre-selected some music for this. And I can drag good old Chariots of Fire right from the uh, music tab directly into my slideshow. And now I've created a slideshow that will also feature music. At this point, I'd be ready to export it if I was happy with it, but in some of the future versions of this video tutorial, uh, we're going to discuss some of the specific customizations we can do in making a audio slideshow of still images just to your liking. Have fun exploring I iMovie 09 and play with some of the new features in it.